Good afternoon, everyone. That's it. What a pleasure it is to be here with you today, and, and we're joined with visiting uh, nurse services of New York. Uh, uh, and we'll bring them up here. This is good. I'm also joined by uh, our your state senator, the state senator from, from this part of Yonkers, and that's George Latimer, who's here today. George Latimer, a good friend, Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer, uh, Assemblyman Gary Prello. Uh, between the two of them, they represent here as well, and of course, the Democratic Conference Chair of the New York State Senate, that's Senator Andrew Stewart Cousins. Uh, you know that uh, Commissioner Hartfeld, uh, Hartfeld was supposed to be here. Hi, Kathy. And I I think uh, she may be coming here pretty soon. And again, welcome to all of our seniors who are in attendance today here. Uh, this is a, it's always a lot of fun for me to come to Coin Park. You know, one third of Americans ages uh, 65 and older fall every year. And uh, every 14 seconds, a senior is treated for a fall in an emergency room. And you all know, uh, my mom, Louder. yeah, how about this one? My mom fell, she fell twice. The first time she broke her femur, and the next time, the next time she broke her head, and uh, you know she had she had some bleeding on the brain, but she is doing great. But she's doing great. Why? Because um, someone was there to take care of her immediately. She had good uh, support staff um, and a good support team, I should say, and good medical care. But that's uh, all too often not the case that many of us fall and there isn't someone there to, uh, to make sure that we take care of the needs because those needs have to be taken care of almost immediately. Falls not only threat, uh, are a threat to our seniors, but they generate a huge economic uh, and personal cost. We all know that. Educating yourself and your family members on how to prevent falls is crucial. So I, I thank you for all of you for coming here today. Um, and I want to say thank you to the Visiting Nurse Services of New York Choice for providing this forum once again this year so that our seniors, our residents here, remain safe, happy, and healthy. Uh, that's what's so important. Education is so important. You know uh, how you can prevent these falls. So I'm going to ask uh, uh, first the Democratic conference chair for the New York State Senate, our Senator, State Senator Andrew Steele Cousins, to say a few words. Good afternoon. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I don't think there's anything um, that you don't know. I think we've all been falling since we arrived here, right? I mean, who has not had a fall? Okay, so, you never fell? Not even when you were a little kid? Oh. Ah! <laughs> I didn't. I didn't put any. I didn't put any any restrictions. I said, "Who has never fallen?" I thought you were going to be our Superman. <laughs> but, but the reality is, we've all fallen. And when when you were little, you'd fall down, you'd bounce up, you keep going. Maybe you you know had a bruise or whatever. But obviously, as we age, the realities of falling and what could happen if we fall becomes more and more clear. And so it's so good that the Visiting Nurse Services of New York does these forums because it makes us once again pay attention. You know, this Sunday I was going to speak and there was a ramp or right in the middle there were three steps without handrails that I could walk up. And, you know, people were walking up, but I have these heels, and there were no handrails, and I said, I'm not gonna do that. It would look great, you know, to just pop up there and hope somebody extends a hand for me to pop down, but I didn't wanna risk that. So what I did is I walked around the ramp and entered the stage in the way that was safer for me. So I think part of all of this is looking at what it is that we do on a daily basis to make ourselves safe, making sure that we remove the obvious obstacles and knowing what to do should indeed we fall. And that's why it's so good to have these forums and that the Visiting Nurse Service, who actually is so responsible many times taking care of people when they do need 
uh, that assistance to come and help to prevent falls. So enjoy the program. It's great to see you all and have a great fall, but not that way. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. What'd you say? Great fall. See you next spring. Right? Okay, gotcha. Anyway, uh, we have our, our your state senator, a good friend of mine, somebody I served uh, quite a few years with in, in the state assembly. He's now our state senator representing uh, this district, and that's my good friend, George Latimer. Thank you, Senator. Well, it's nice to be back at COIN. I try to be a regular visitor. I usually have cookies with me when I come. So the minute I walked in, you saw I had no cookies. It's like, what's up with this, Latimer? Come on. Come. But uh, I do have some in the car, so after the rest of the piles go, I'll come back with the cookies. But, uh, well, I know. It's, uh, in any event, though, we owe a great debt of gratitude to the Visiting Nurse Services and to the City of Yonkers for putting on this uh, session. And they're not things that we don't already know, but it's a good reminder and it's a good reinforcement. In about, uh, I think it's 10 weeks from now, when I celebrate my next birthday, I'll turn 61. In, in the room of the office where I work with 25-year-old kids, they think I'm ancient. And I come to a room like this and everybody tells me I'm young, which makes me feel very good. Of course, on other days when some of my colleagues don't come, I'll wind up singing in the other room, but we won't do that today. We know that, yeah. It's, you know, look, I lose an election. I better have a job lined up. That may be the job. Who knows? But, uh, but in all seriousness, <laughs> okay. But in all seriousness, uh, all of us have to treat this more seriously. And as I mentioned, in terms of my age, uh, I took a pratfall about uh, three weeks ago. I was in one of the governmental buildings in one of the other communities I represent, and I was kind of stunned that I lost my balance. And of course, when I told the story, uh, you know, when I got back home, she says, look, you know, you have to think intelligently now. You have to make sure with, as you know, as your age, your balance, and all those things. Had my mother been alive, she would have looked at me, slapped me, and said, do not, don't run. But she's not here to say that, and my wife is Irish, not Italian, so we take the advice. I don't think she knows Gaelic. But in any event, the bottom line is that it's as much a lesson for us as it is for you. And that's why we appreciate what the Visiting Nurse Services is doing. These are practical-minded things. We know them already, but it's a good reinforcement. And so since all of us still have to walk off this stage, everything that has to be said hopefully will absorb as well. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again with cookies. And, and I hope this is a very helpful program to you. Thank you. This is a very important program, obviously, to all of us. And that's why the delegation is here and spending some time with us. Uh, and that's uh, something we very much appreciate and uh, representing the State Assembly and your State Assemblyman who is here today, and that's Assemblyman Gary Prello. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Mayor, and good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> uh, I, I, as of last month, have officially become a senior citizen. I'm, I'm official now on the, on the golf course, on the bus, wherever the movies, wherever it is. I hit 65, I'm there, so I'm feel, and I'm feeling good about it. Uh, but that's, but I, I think the last time we spoke, I had just taken a pretty bad fall a week before um, we, we, had, we had this uh, forum. And it could happen to anyone. And just to follow up a little bit of what the mayor had said, uh, earlier, a full 30% of all seniors will fall this year. That's one out of three. So that means if you look to the left and look to the right, one of you, if it's not you, it's the person to your left or your right that will probably fall. Falls are the leading cause of admission to hospitals for seniors, and unfortunately falls are the leading cause of death of seniors. And there are a lot of things that we can do to make it a little less likely that we fall, like wearing sensible shoes, like making sure there isn't a, a, a throw rug on the floor, uh, making sure that there weren't boxes piled up while you don't trip over the cat. The little things like that will keep you from falling. And as we age, our bones become more and more brittle. So as was said just a minute ago, when you, we were young and we fell, we could get up and shake it off and keep on going. Now we fall we have to lay there for 10 or 15 minutes. Hopefully there's someone there to help us up, and hopefully something isn't broken. Um, so I, I want to congratulate the um, visiting nurses for doing this because this is so important, and there are so many people that don't know 
what they should be looking for. We should all go to our doctors and tell your doctor what medication we're taking because some medications in conjunction with those lead to dizziness and dizziness, as you all know, leads to falling and falling leads to pain in hospitals and all of that stuff that we don't want to do. So with that, I want to just thank you all um, for your attendance and some of you were at my town hall meeting we, I had right here a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago and we're, I appreciate the attendance we had there too. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblyman, those are great words. Um, and last but certainly not least, uh, the Assemblywoman who represents just Yonkers. And uh, as you know, Senator Pratmo represents Yonkers and Mount Vernon. Uh, but uh, she only bears the distinction to be the Yonkers Assembly member. And uh, she also takes a seat that was probably held by some other guy, I forgot his name. But anyway, uh, and I'd like to ask uh, Assemblywoman Shelly Mary to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, I want to echo the comments of my colleagues, but I know as someone who took care of both of my parents as they age, that their personal fear of falling was ever present in their mind, and it restricted their own access, because everywhere we went, my mother and my father both were concerned they might fall, and there were things we wanted to do and they wanted to do, and they stopped themselves from doing it out of a fear of falling. Some of that is so legitimate, and other things I think we all could have learned if we had sat here and had this session together, myself with both of them, because they, there were things that they, there were streets they did not want to go on, there were sidewalks that they avoided, um, they were very, very careful about their shoes, but at the end of the day, they restricted their freedom, even though they had all the other kinds of liberties uh, because they were afraid of falling and they were afraid of the consequences of falling. So it's a personal thing to me. I want to thank the Visiting Nurse Service of New York, which also provided wonderful care after each of my parents came home from the hospital each time and they had home care. It was wonderfully provided by them. So it's a very good complement to learning to avoid going to the hospital and then providing care when we get home. So thank you all for being here. I'm sure I could have learned and I, and I will continue to learn how to do better at avoiding falls. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Newman, and again, special thanks to our delegation for work so working uh, so very, very hard for all of us here in Yonkers. And uh, again, I'd like to introduce uh, the, the group that's here today. It's good for us to listen, to learn, right? Not talk, not lecturing you, though. I know better. My mama taught me respect. Um, but uh, every once in a while, I do have to remind my parents, though, that you don't really need to climb that ladder anymore. You know, 84 years old, maybe you should ask one of your children. Then he told me, well, you're not getting any younger. I can't ask you to climb either. So, <laughs> so you have grandchildren. Uh, <laughs> but let me introduce the Visiting Nurse Services of New York, uh, the, our, the uh, clinical manager for rehab. Allison Sims. Today I'm going to speak about falls and I'm going to speak about it because I'm very passionate about it because it's reality for me right now. You should always review your medications with your drug with the doctor and the pharmacist and here's another homework assignment. Please going forward use one pharmacist. You want to make sure all your medications being managed by one pharmacist so that they can do the review to ensure that there's no drug interactions. Remember to take your medications as prescribed. Some medications you have to take on a full stomach, others you don't. Please follow the directions. Another tip, you should have a list of your medications, ladies in your pocketbook, men in your wallet. This is very, very important because God forbid something happens to you. You end up hurt, you're in the hospital, it's so much easier if you know what medications you're taking so that the, the medical team know how to manage your care. Do not share or borrow medications. That's an absolute. And also, it's important that you know the common side effects of each drug that you're taking. So if you do feel an adverse reaction, you know whether this is right or if it's not right. I strongly, strongly recommend that we have our eyes checked at least once a year. Here are some tips if you do have some visual impairments. Use a magnifying glass when you're reading. Again, improve the lighting in your home. If you're about to do any renovations in your home, I would recommend that you use bright paint 
when you're coloring, when you're about to paint. Bright colors tend to help um, increase the illumination in the home. Use bright or contrast colors so that for assistance. As for the large print when you're getting your medications from the pharmacist, they're not going to give it to you unless you ask for it. So always request the large print. So if you know, get that little bottle and small print. It's really hard to see. But the large print is available, but you have to ask for it upon request. Use timers of audio or voice alarms as reminder systems. And also, scan your environment. This is important, whether you're home, outside, no matter where you are. Think about your movement. And always scan from left to right, especially when you're outdoors, because there are some uneven terrains when we're walking on the sidewalk, which may be a cracked sidewalk or something of the sort, or you may be uh, about to step down. Scan your environment from left to right so that you're aware of your surroundings. Avoid using the multifocal lens when in, in glasses when you're walking. You know, you have the bifocals and you gotta control your eye, look down, look up, look down. <laughs> Don't do that when you're walking because you have to have really, really good control and you have to pay attention. So avoid wearing bifocals when you're walking. Some additional um, tips is to remove clutter from the home, within your home. You want to make sure you have a nice, clear walkway so that you can walk. If you do have throw rugs, make sure that they're securely taped down to the floor. may not be too appealing to the eye, but again, it's better to be safe than sorry. Arrange your furniture in a way that you have a nice, widened pathway to walk. Keep your commonly used items very close by. Look at your bed and chair heights when you're getting up. Because you really, if you feel like you're struggling to get up, you have to do several attempts, you have to sort of trying to get up. Maybe the bed is too high, uh, or maybe the chair is too high. You know now these mattresses they're making with the pillow top, and it's extremely high. It's very, you remember the olden days, they had the, the bed, the four inches? Those days are over. Now it's the really high, high bed, and it, it is hard to get in and out of the bed. And again, if your feet is not touching flat on the floor, that puts you at a risk of falling. So again, you want to look at that. Sometimes you have to cut down the post of the bed a bit, or maybe you have to change the chair so that it's easier for you to get up. I don't recommend that you use step stools because when you step up on a stool, your position in space changes, and that just alters your whole visual field. So sometimes you're just four inches higher up on a step stool and you can lose your balance, especially when you're coming down and if you have visual impairments. Again, you think you're closer than what you really are and you can have a really nasty fall. And if there's any uneven surfaces, like a, a lip, the lip of the, the, the stairs is coming up, you really want to make sure that's on a flat surface. So this go over some quick tips because we talked about a lot of things. So quick review, falls are common around among seniors. We now know the risk factors around falls and we know how to stay strong on our feet. We're going to have our medications checked by talking to our physician to make sure we're on the lowest dose as possible and we're going to ensure that we're using only one pharmacist. We're always going to wear shoes inside and out. We're going to have our eyes checked at least annually. We're going to improve our strength and balance and mobility by exercising. And we're going to have our checklist that's going to be in the bags that will be provided. And also, I'm just going to piggyback on medications. We're always going to have a list of medications in our pocketbooks or in our wallets. And we should have our home assessed for um, safety. Uh, if, there, if you do sustain a fall, if you needed additional information on fall prevention, you can call 212-609-1588. Thank you all for your time, and have a great day.